the video review for you. This time we're taking a look <clears throat> at the Transformers Collector Transformers Collectors Club exclusive for this year, the freebie figure. This is Depth Charge. Uh, Depth Charge is from Beast Wars, if you don't know. If you don't know, you should really go watch Beast Wars, because Beast Wars is great. But uh, <clears throat> he is a repaint from the Terra Dipole from Hunted for the Decepticons. He's this kind of uh, forward swept wing jet with the uh, some canards on the sides here and really deep angled wings. It looks almost like an X-wing when you look dead on. Which is a really cool repaint of of, uh, of that figure. Um, the nice, the blue is the um, the color of you know the basic color of Depth Charge. Uh, he was a blue uh, manta ray. Uh, it's a very very cool repaint. Nice detailing all around with the colors, very Depth Chargey colors. Uh, my favorite part is the colored in eyes on the sides of the cockpit. These are like the intakes for the jets, and they just put like a little black dot to make it look like an eyeball. It's kind of like at the the panel line looks like a mouth. Just overall looks it's trying to emulate that look, but it's very 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 cool. I do very much like it. The paint is gorgeous, very awesome. Underneath we have his weapon, which is just uh, tomahawk's weapon, not tomahawk, uh, terror dive's weapon, just a, a spear, but it does fit him, being a uh, you know a sea creature, but. So let's just take off the the weapon for now. It does uh, have this little hook up here in the back that holds it on, and then it clips in right there, and then just pegs together, and uh, it just folds out like that. And then you pull this part down, and it spreads the trident. And there you go. So we'll put that off to the side. Here's his bio card, real quick. I generally don't take these out of the plastic because I don't have a need to, because I already know how to transform them. So I don't really need to, uh, or I can look up videos if I don't know, so there's no real reason to really take these out of the plastic. So you just have the instructions on this side. And uh, here's, the, here's the tech, the bio card, so here's his tech specs. If you want to take a look at that. And if you want to read his bio, you can just pause it and read the bio. Read the bio. But it's basically just a bio from Beast Wars. So if you know the character from Beast Wars, there you go. So yeah, let's transform this guy. I uh, just have three landing gear, one in the nose cone. Well, forward portion of the nose. And two right here. So we push those all up. So what you want to start by doing is, these are going to be the legs. And they're pegged in right here, on the sides here. <clears throat> and the wings are also pegged on. Uh, one problem with mine, this canard here likes to pop up. Not the end of the world. Probably just mold degradation. But um, the wing pegs up in here, and it also connects over here, but when you pop these out, so you just want to release those, the peg right there and the hole right there, that also releases them up here. And you can see the peg hole right there, and there's a peg underneath in the wing. So we just separate those out, and we just kind of fold this down and out of the way for a second. So next what you want to do is you want to pull the cockpit forward, like that. And kind of lift it up and it will lift this section of it out of the way. You want to get it about halfway because what you need to do is actually get a little bit less than halfway. There's um this pink section here has to go in between up in there. See? Or else it won't lock in. And then you can actually just push that flat. None of this because the, the cockpit's under here this won't all sit perfectly flat but it it does lock in there. I think you're supposed to pull it up, down. Nah, whatever. It locks in. That's fine. Um, take the legs. We're gonna rotate them around. Flip open the feet. Like that blue bit in the, is in the front. Gray bit to the heel. Now with the wings, what you want to do is kind of pull them out. Rotate them around. Now, in vehicle mode, there's a gray peg here. And that pegs into that hole right there. So in vehicle mode, they're like that. In robot mode, what you want to do is rotate it around and use the same peg. But instead of pegging it up here, you're going to peg it right in there. So you're going to peg that down in there. And then you're going to rotate the wing up. And then, as you see, there's another gray peg on the post. And that's going to peg into the holes right in there. Just like that. 
Same thing on the other side, so you're going to unpeg it, rotate it around, peg it in, rotate the wing bit, peg that in. Like that. Raise the camera. So next you want to rotate the whole thing right there. And now you can actually flip these canards in. And this is going to create the chest. So you can see the nice silver detail now that's going to become the whole chest, which is also very, very cool. So next you're going to come up here and split the thrusters. And then rotate them, split them, and then rotate them out like that. They go peg in right here. It's a, uh, re inverted peg system. So one's up and one's down. They peg together like that. Then you're going to unpeg them and fold them out, and then split them right here and flip out the hand, pack it back together. Um, you've probably seen this before in Transformers Prime figures, they do that a lot for the guns. Come in, there we go. So next, you want to rotate the gray part with the wings and everything 180 and then fold it down yeah and now this bit see this gray bit a double hinge so you want to fold it as far so it's basically you know like that and then down and then this purple bit right here will plug into a hole right there. So you just kind of line everything up, give it a little push, it clicks together. Um, you can now push the head up, just give it a little squeeze down, and now you're going to come up here and attach the shoulders. There's a peg right here and a hole right there. Just give it a little push, and that's done. Fold up this bit in the back. Fix his arms and elbows and everything, and you are basically done. So here we have Depth Charge in his robot mode. And Depth Charge is fantastic. You can just get in on him real quick. His face is very cool. He does have light piping. I do have a flashlight. It does have light piping, but because of, you basically need the light directly behind it to really see it, like that. Because, like when you shine it this way, you can barely see it. You really need it right behind it. So light piping isn't great, but it's there. But the face sculpt is very cool. This is still um, Terry Dive's face. It's just painted as depth charge, but still very, very, very cool. Um, it's on a ball joint on the inside, so it wobbles, but then it's got this double, it's got this hinge here. So you got a pretty darn good range of motion on the head. Nice maximal symbol right there on the chest. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Shoulders are on a hinge and this in and out. Uh, upper bicep cut. Double bend at the elbow, mostly for transformation, but get big wide motions. Rotates at the wrist. Nothing at the waist. Bull jointed hips, upper bicep cut, um, bends at the knee, 90 degrees, and you do have articulation in the foot. Um, somewhat to the transformation, but still pretty good. So yeah, um, one downside is the hook for vehicle mode does hasn't make an appearance, so you can just kind of tuck it up back there. So let's get his weapon. So he has, there's a thicker post on the weapon, so you can kind of like wiggle it in there and then kind of feed it through his hand. 
like that. And then you can also make him dual wield it. It is this soft, flexible plastic, so you do have plenty of leeway with it. So I usually just get it in there and then uh, finagle it. That looks like crap because I didn't bend his arms when I did this. There we go. Much better. So there we have him all armored up with his weapon. And I think he is just fantastic. I really do think he looks great. Just all around amazing. Great colors. Totally captures depth charge. He's got his face, you know, pretty well, even though they're using someone else's head. Just all around fantastic. Um, what's weird was they were selling these at BotCon on cards. Because this guy just comes in a box in foam um, from the subscription club. So that's kind of messed up. They were selling them at BotCon before we had them in our hands. Because BotCon just finished two days ago. Today's Tuesday. BotCon finished on Sunday. And I just got this guy today. So if you were at BotCon, you could have bought it carded for 10 bucks for ten bucks more than the, they sell it individually. So kind of a butthole move. But... I mean, there's nothing I can really do about it, obviously, but just be aware that that's something they did. Um, but whatever, I got them today, so at least we didn't have to wait. You know, those of us that couldn't go to BotCon didn't have to wait weeks or months to get them. We finally got them, so that's a big plus. So like I said, if basically if you want to buy this guy, um, you can. You have to be a subscription, not a subscription member, but a club member. Um, and you can buy him individually if you you know didn't subscribe in time to get him for free. Uh, I think it's like 30 bucks. Totally worth every penny. Um, don't pay scalper prices because I'm sure that they were scalping them from BotCon. Uh, you know the carded versions. Don't pay scalper prices. Just get it from the get it from the club for 30 bucks. He's totally awesome. Um, just be aware that they are going to scalp them because of the, they were carded at BotCon. But yeah, I'm rambling. But we did continue in our tradition of uh, reviewing a figure that, uh, a remold, a repaint, remold before the actual figure again. So that's that's always a fun thing. But yeah, I'm rambling, like I said. Grab them if you, if you, if you don't have them. Try to grab them, but just be aware of be aware of scalping prices. Try to grab them from the club directly. So yeah, this has been the video review for the totally awesome Transformers Collector Club 2013 exclusive Depth Charge.